Sam, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title down there, today I'm doing a first impression on the foundation where I misplaced it. This foundation right here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little bit down there. And if you wanna hear my thoughts about this foundation, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna start by applying the um, foundation and I did pick it up in 118 light beige and what I did I actually looked up the website where you can get like matched through other foundations that you have and then it lists a bunch of foundations with what um, color you would like correspond to like what color uh, foundation you would have to get so I'll link it down in the description box if you want to try that because it really helps me. I put in two foundations, my NYX um, Won't Stop, Can't Stop or Can't Stop, Won't Stop and then the L'Oreal one which are my two favorite drugstore uh, foundations and it gave me this shade. So it helped me out a lot. So this is the foundation right here and as you guys can see it comes in this little like pouch packaging which I think it's pretty cute. I've never tried this foundation so it's... Um, like the coverage and everything is going to be new to me. Like I said, I bought, I got it in 118 light beige and it has a little thing up here. That's how you like open it and I haven't, oh, okay. It has a little squeezy thing. Like I said, I've never used this, um, foundation before. So the coverage and everything is going to be like new to me. So my face is already primed and I'm going to, oh, okay. It's not as liquidy as I, as I thought it was going to be. Okay. I'm like scared a lot is gonna come out. And then I didn't even, even zoom you guys in. So, as you guys can see, I'm currently in that time of the month, so I do have a lot of like imperfections coming through and a lot of like redness. My redness is a little bit more red than usual. So you can definitely like build it up as you guys can see the difference. I used like half a pump and it already covered most of my redness here. But I can still see through my skin which I like on days that I don't want to wear a very heavy foundation. So far I like the coverage. It is definitely a medium coverage, but I'm trying to build it up a little bit on like right here where I have more redness. And this shade matches my neck perfectly, which thank God because I hate when I, I'm the worst at ordering like foundations online. I like the packaging because you're able to um, like squeeze. I like got, got the hang of it, so I can like um, kind of like squeeze how much product I need instead. Because I know that this one comes in the like glass packaging, but the other one it doesn't come with a pump. So like if you were to like pour the foundation, like a bunch would come out, and I feel like you have more control over how much foundation you want with this packaging. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that as you guys can see Right here you can still see a little bit of my skin um, Like peeking through right here, but I actually like that. It doesn't look cakey. It's um, Starting to like set it doesn't feel like really really tacky like other foundations I really like the coverage because it just gives you more um, kind of like um, opportunity to work with the foundation because it has um, you can build it up whether um, you want a full coverage foundation or you want more of a light to medium coverage my face overall looks a little dry kind of like on my like right here it looks a little dry I want to say that I have like a dry patch there um, but overall I feel like it looks good so I'm definitely gonna be wearing this throughout the day right now it's currently 12 p.m. so I'm at least gonna wear it for eight hours so I'm gonna give you at least those eight hours of wear test but overall I really like how it looks I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face 
and I'll come back to just let you know how everything blended and show you kind of like a final look I am gonna be setting just because I do have oily skin and um, I like setting my face that's just like the routine that I do so I'll be right back okay so before I move on to my eyes and like continue doing my, the rest of my face I just wanted to come in here and tell you guys that everything went uh, blended really really nice everything blended um, and I can still see a little bit of my skin down here which I enjoy actually I really like how the foundation looks um, I obviously did set it with my powder just because that's like my uh, like foundation routine. But yeah, currently it is 1220. I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day and then I'll come back to tell you guys how this foundation wore off throughout the day. Okay, so it is currently 845 and I'm actually in my bathroom. I'm about to take this makeup off. Like my eyes are so tired from wearing these like huge lashes. Um, and then this makeup look should be coming on my channel like in the next few days so as you guys can see right here there's like literally like no foundation that's my skin um, I do have a couple like breakdown breakouts because it's the time of the month um, but I mean I like how it looks overall my highlight still there um, you can barely see a little bit of my um, blush and a little bit of my contour and I'm starting to get a little bit oily right here but overall, I feel like the only area, excuse me, have, I have like, like Cheeto, like crumbles. I was eating hot Cheetos. Like this side is good. It's just more this side. And obviously right here, I mean, above my lip, I usually get it if I'm, I mean, at the end of the day, it's fine. Just because like I ate throughout the day. And I've been, I have been wearing this foundation for almost nine hours. Which is usually like the time that I wear like makeup. That's why I'm like itching to get this off. Um, but yeah, overall I actually really like it. I'll be like um, trying it out more. And we'll see if it makes it to my favorites video. Mm -hmm. 